Hi all, I'm Guru, I'm back to you people. Guys, uh, today uh, uh, I would like to discuss with you people on the testing process which have been conducted in the organization. In company, how the testing will be conducted, how the testing will perform. So that, that I would like to explain you very well in the in, in detail manner. For example, we have a customer. Okay. Customer, imagine that customer have been approached us to do the testing in an organization. Okay. So first, what we will do, we will take their requirement. What is their scope of testing? Means we would like to understand their scope. If they need a testing services, what exactly they need? Do they, do they need a functional testing? Do, in, uh, do they need a performance testing? Do they need a security testing? Okay, so what kind of testing they were expecting to perform on their product? First, we would like to understand their expectation, their scope, and what, what they want to do us in testing. Okay, imagine that their scope is limited to only with the functional testing. They don't want like your performance testing, your security testing. They don't want anything. They want only only to test the functionality of their application. That's it. So what we will do for that purpose, what, what exactly we wanted to do, what kind of process if we follow, we should understand which testing process is good to maintain the zero level defect from the production. Our, our mindset is, we will change our mindset. Okay, which process is good for me to implement, if, if I implement that testing process on their product, right, where it will, it will give them the zero defect in the production. That is the second thought it will come up. Okay. What kind of process we, we would like to follow in STLC? And we would like to suggest them what are the process which is available with us. Do they want agile testing? Now agile testing is going hot cake in the market now. Okay. Do they, do they want to continuously interact with us? Yes, they wanted to interact with us and they wanted to see the progress of our testing gradually with a very, uh, very close movement way. Then we would like to suggest them agile testing. Let us go with the agile testing concept. So if they want a functional testing only, we would like to see the product. Means is that product, how frequent releases we can, we can give them. If frequent releases are more, then we would like to go ahead with the functional testing, manual testing, as well as automation testing team. Okay. So if, if I wanted to define the testing process for that particular customer, see testing process, we will customize according to the customer point of view, according to their functional point of view, according to their domain point of view, which domain is suitable and according to their expectations also. So, we would like to customize our process, existing process as per the customer expectations. What we wanted to do, how we wanted to do. So is, is, is let me, let, we will check it out. Is the product is available? Is the documentation part is correct? Means the product documentation part, they have maintained it perfectly. Or do they want to, do they want us to design the documentation part also? And what are the things they expect for that product is really it is very important for us to define the testing process for that particular customer or particular stakeholder or particular client. All things we call it as a one person. We can call them as a customer. We can call them as a client. We can call them, call them as a stakeholders. So we would like to, we would like to discuss with them first. Then we would like to define the particular testing process where it should fit. Main goal of QA team in the organization should be max to max. We don't want to leak out the defect to the production. Even though it is on the functional testing, even though it is on the performance testing, even though it is on the security kind of testing. So our intention, main motto, our main goal of QA team is we don't want to leak out the any kind of defect to the production. If there is a leaking out 100% testing, we cannot do. Trust me, 100% testing, we cannot do. But if there is a leak out of the defect, we would like to ask them acceptance criteria from the customer. Okay, if we wanted to release your product to the production, how many critical defects you are accept accepting 
And if we cross that number count, what is the penalty clause for us? And if we maintain your defect as per your expectations, how many medium defect you are expecting? How many minor defect you are expecting once we release to the production? So understanding all those things, we would like to define a systematic QA process to give them the services. Guys, thank you. I, I think so. It might have given you some idea how the things going in industries and how the things will be working in industries. Okay. So really, I'm very thankful to you people, guys. Uh, and I now, right now, I would like to share with you people, uh, guys, we have reached uh, around uh, 1,000 plus subscribers in this particular channel. And you have given me the good opportunity to explore my knowledge to you people. So I need the same support from you. And uh, uh, I mean to say, I want I want you people to grow with me, and this is the this is what I'm expecting, guys. I'm again I'm very thankful to you people for watching my this video. We will meet next time. See you guys again. I'm feeling very happy to share uh, with you people within a short span of time. We are we are doing this, and uh, uh, and let me know if you have any questions. You can talk to me. I would like to help you. Guys, I'm very thankful to you for watching this video. See you again. Thank you. Thanks a lot.